Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Rakshita N from Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering. Today I have to explain you guys non-conventional energy sources. The contents of my presentation is what is energy, the sources of energy, non-conventional energy sources, wind energy, solar energy, hydropower energy, biogas, tidal energy, then conclusion. First of all, what is energy? As we all know that energy is the ability to do work. Energy, bro energy broadly means the capacity of something, a person, an animal or a physical system to do work and produce change. Now we have two sources of energy. The sources of energy are conventional sources of energy and non-conventional sources of energy. Coming to conventional sources of energy, it is the energy sources that once exhausted do not replenish themselves within a specific period and these are non-renewable energy. Example are coal, gas and oil. It's like once it is over, it cannot be formed again. As we all know that this oil, gas and coal are going to exhaust in next 100 years. So these are not dependent. And coming to non-conventional sources of energy. These are renewable sources of energy. Example, uh, solar energy, bio energy, tidal energy and wind energy. Now, the types of non-conventional energy sources. Wind energy, solar energy, hydropower energy, biogas, tidal energy, geothermal energy. These are few types of non-conventional energy sources which are renewable in nature. Now, let's see about wind energy. In wind energy, the wind is used to produce electricity by converting the kinetic energy of air in motion into electricity. Here, the wind is used to produce energy. Wind is the main source. And in modern wind turbines, wind rotates the rotor blades which convert kinetic energy into rotational energy. This rotational energy is transferred by a shaft switch to the generator thereby producing electrical energy. By looking at this picture we can easily understand the can easily understand how wind energy is converted into electricity. Look at this picture guys here the wind is flowing when the wind is flowing when the wind is blown the shaft of the windmills will rotate. And when the wind when the windmills are rotating, the turbine will generate electricity and the transformer will store it and distribute through the network and it will reach to general use. Advantages of wind energy are, it is renewable sources of energy, it does not cause pollution, the recurring cost is less and once the wind turbine is built, the energy it produces does not cause greenhouse gases. This is one of the main advantage. And we can see in non-renewable sources of energy, it produces so much of greenhouse gases which cause pollution. So wind energy will overcome the disadvantages of non-renewable energy resources. Though wind energy is good, it also have few disadvantages. They are, wind is not available at all times. It requires large area of land and minimum wind speed of 15 km per hour is required. And this speed is not available at every place. So these are the few disadvantages of wind energy.
Next, we'll learn about solar energy. Solar radiation is light, also known as electromagnetic radiation, that is emitted by the sun. While every location on earth receives some sunlight over a year, the amount of solar radiation that reaches any one spot of earth's surface varies. Solar technologies capture this radiation and turn it into useful forms of energy. And here in solar energy, the, the light which we receive from the sun is converted into electricity to basic uses. The various technologies in which solar energy can be used are solar cookers, solar hot water systems, solar dryers, solar hair eaters, solar desalination systems, solar batteries. There are still many more technologies in which solar energy is used. We can also use solar panels in our house so we don't have to pay any electricity bill. The advantages of solar energy are Solar energy is a renewable energy source and reduces carbon emissions. And in, in turn, it does not cause any pollution. Solar energy can reduce your home's electricity bill. Solar power can get you money back through solar renewable energy credits. Homes with solar panels installed may improve home value. Solar panels have low maintenance cost. Once you put solar panel in your home, the maintenance cost will be very less. The solar energy can generate electricity in any climate because the sun will rise every day. So it will generate electricity at, throughout the year at most of the places. The disadvantages of solar energy are the high initial cost of installing panels. It's a bit expensive, but the maintenance will be slow. Solar energy storage is expensive. Solar doesn't work for every roof type. Solar panels are dependent on sunlight. Sometimes the sunlight varies. You won't get enough sunlight to produce electricity. So this is why it's a disadvantage. Next, let's Let's see hydropower energy. Hydroelectric power, also known as hydropower, is a renewable source of energy where electrical power is derived from the energy of water moving from higher to lower elevations. Hydropower has among the best conversion efficiencies of all known energy sources, about 90% efficiency. About 90, it, is, it works 90% efficiently. Hydroelectric power stations generate electricity using the force of water that falls into turbines and rotate the shaft. By rotating the shaft of turbines, the potential energy of the water is converted into kinetic energy. The shaft from the turbine is connected to a generator. The kinetic energy from the shaft turns the electrical generator and produces electricity. This is the process how hydropower is created using water which is moving from higher elevation to lower elevation this is the process of producing hydropower we can see the flowing of water from dam and then this is and this will convert into kinetic energy the potential energy of water which is present in dam when it flows it converts to kinetic energy to rotate the turbine and shaft therefore the generator will produce electricity and store in the transformer and through the wires electricity is passed the advantages of hydropower are it is the cheapest energy source Hydropower stations are agile and responsive. Water brings its enormous energy. Production can be tailored to demand. Very low indirect emissions. 
secondary water flows are suitable for smaller plants. The disadvantages of hydropower are it has an environmental impact. It displaces people. When we have to uh, create a hydropower station, we not only uh, affect the environmental place, but also we have to force people to move from the place to another place. So it's a disadvantage and it's expensive to construct a hydropower plant. There are limited reservoirs, that is the dams. The dams are limited. There are droughts. Like not every place is filled with so much of water. It's not always safe. Hydropower plants are not always safe and it causes so many injuries too. The next type of non-conventional energy is biogas. Biogas energy. Biogas is a mixture of gases which the anaerobic decomposition of organic matter produces. For example, agricultural waste, plant residue, municipal waste, food waste and more. It comprises methane, carbon dioxide in conjunction with a small amount of hydrogen sulfide and moisture. The biogas plant the biogas plant comprises a dome-like structure. In this, the organic material like discarded food residue, fats, sludge, cow dung, etc. mix with water and then fed into the digester through the inlet. The digester is basically a sealed chamber where anaerobic decomposition of organic matter occurs. After a few days, the organic matter completely decomposes to produce gases like methane, carbon dioxide, hydrogen and hydrogen sulfide. After that, we draw these gases through pipes from the storage tank above the digester and distribute through decentralization channels to neighboring centers of use. This picture shows the production of biogas. The matter from the, the cow sludge, the, the cow dung and the agricultural waste is put into the digester and then it is converted into energy. This energy can be used as biocarbulent, electricity and many more types. The advantages of biogas energy are it's non-polluting, it reduces landfill. You know the most of the waste are going into landfills. Instead of that, we can convert all those waste into biogas. It's an inexpensive technology. It creates employment, especially in the rural, uh, rural areas. It is a renewable source of energy. The disadvantages of biogas energy are inefficient on a large scale. It contains impurities. The biogas contains impurities. It's especially methane. And biogas energy is unstable and hazardous. The methane, when it combines with oxygen, it becomes so hazardous. It, make, it might catch fire. So this is a disadvantage. Let's study about tidal energy. The energy obtained from the rise and fall of tides is called tidal energy. Tidal barrages or dams are constructed across a narrow opening to the sea. Water rushes into the dam when the sea level rises. This moves the blades of the turbines which are attached at the opening of the dam. This results in the generation of electricity. This picture shows the production of tidal energy. The rise and fall of tidal streams rotates the shaft and it produces electricity. The advantages of tidal energy are it's environmental friendly and it's a highly predictable energy source. We know when tides are high and low, 
so it's predictable energy source it has high energy density its operational and maintenance costs are low an inexhaustible source of energy it is not exhaustible cause the tides will always come and go some of the disadvantages of tidal energy are high tidal power plant construction cost yes we have to agree that the construction cost of tidal power plant is expensive but the maintenance will be low negative influence on marine life forms the construction of tidal energy plants will affect the marine life the sharks turtles present in the ocean location limits we can construct this only in the oceans so the, there are limits the variable intensity of sea waves will also become a disadvantages of tidal energy and now let's conclude our non conventional energy sources topic the non conventional sources of energy are gaining importance this energy is abundant renewable pollution free and eco friendly thus by the end of session we understood the we are, we have actually understood that non conventional energy sources are important and we have to use this because it causes less pollution and it is eco friendly and it can actually reduce the impact of bad pollution and climate change thank you for watching my video please like comment and share